So I think when marriage mm -hmm. becomes an object, that's dangerous. Period. Exactly. As a single person, period. That's so true. So seasons of singleness, I'm not saying it shouldn't be a seasons of preparation, but you should just be preparing you, just getting you, you'll prosper as your soul mm -hmm. prospers. What do you think, what, what questions should we be asking ourselves when you're single in terms of growing your faith or being single and all that? What, what, what should be the focus? Well, what should we be asking God? I think the Bible explains that when it talks about how the married woman cared for the things of the world and the single woman cared for the things of God, of yeah. the Lord, how they may please him. And the question is, they should be saying single people, how do I please God with all of this time I have? And that's what I think. Um, I think we should be seeking God on, well, what do you want me to do during this time of singleness? Is, mm. is there something you want me to do specifically with my time? And I think that should be one of the main questions a single person should ask. How can I please the yeah, Lord? Yeah, how can I please you, Lord? Is there anything you need me to do? Is there anything you, you need from me? Should I say something? Should I, should I become so. a mentor? Should I serve? Should I... I think being single is for the kingdom of God, is to continue to build the kingdom. That is so not our culture I, right now. I think everybody yeah. is, is looking to be partnered up and booed up with somebody for, you know, being alone and all that right. stuff. So I think they're all asking God, where's my Boaz? And not, you know, what could I do yeah. more for you? But I, I agree with that. Yeah, because I think the married woman, she's busy. She's raising her kids. Yeah. She's helping her husband, she's, um, you know, keeping her house together, but the single woman or the single man is kind of yeah, like... Yeah, single man, build, too. Yeah. Build the empire, build mm -hmm. your life, and, uh, you know, dress and keep what God has given you. Be a good steward in be these seasons, steward. man. And when she comes, you'll be ready. That's right. And so I think that's the first question. What shall I be doing right now, Lord, for you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you oh. think it's wrong, do you think it's wrong, like, to pray, like, that you'll meet somebody? Oh, no. Pray about everything. Pray without ceasing. Have hope. Yeah. Believe that you're going to meet somebody. Always be hopeful in that area. I, I, I agree believe. with that. Um, pray about everything. The Bible mm -hmm. says, pray about all things with all prayer and supplication. Let your requests be made known unto God. And That's the Bible right. also says, he'll give you the desires of your heart. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Uh, what's before that, though? But it also says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all of these things will be added. Things, marriage, relationships. Right. That's what I was just saying. Before that, delight yourself in him. Delight. So enjoy being, be, enjoy belonging to the Lord. That's right. Enjoy just oh, being so his. Right. Delight yourself in him. And then he'll give you the, the desires. desires of your heart. Yeah, mm -hmm. of your heart. Because I didn't plan on getting married at 18. I, I what was you living. Mean? You didn't plan on getting I didn't, married. I didn't say, oh, I want to get married. I want to get married. I just, you know, tried to do the best. I tried to be obedient to God. Um, if I was in, the, the older I grew, if I was in a relationship that I didn't think God wanted me in, I, I would pray that he would take feelings and things from me. And because of that, those obedient decisions that I was making, he brought you to me. Mm. But it was because I was working on myself and trying to please God at the same True. time, and then you came. And so I think that's that's why I'm saying it's important to seek ye first the kingdom, because I've done it and I've seen the fruit of it. I've right. seen how God can bless you if you totally just seek him for the time being. So I don't think it's wrong to pray for that, but just don't make it mm -mm. your focus. But I did, but, but when I did um, begin a relationship with you before that, I did pray specifically what I wanted. Mm. I prayed about skin color. I prayed about all right. um, um, just personality. I prayed about almost everything I asked for God gave me. So I, I was specific. If God didn't want me to do something, I asked him to give me strength not to do it. But I said, but if I'm obedient, can you do this for me? And I was blessed. So hey. you can't ask. Amen. Yeah. I didn't have a list of what I wanted in a woman. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's wrong to pray for that. I just think sometimes we don't know what to pray for as we ought to. Right. Because if I had made a list then, I would not have enjoyed my marriage. Got it. I was younger. I, yeah, I, we got married at, I was 21. So mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't have a list of who, you. you know, what, what you know, and I'm, and I'm glad mm -hmm. because my list would have, yeah. would have been very religious. Got you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I'm glad I didn't have. I'm glad I didn't have that. I was really, really right. into the work of the Lord. I was mm -hmm. really, really into music and serving, mm -hmm. and I was really, really all into that. Exactly. You just came. You just came out the blue and just disrupted all that. Like, skrr. I was yeah. like, Whoa! What's that? Mm -hmm. 
Join me in this journey. <laughs> yeah, but our God is good. Even though we ask for things, he knows what, what to give need. us and what not to give us. Yeah. And he knows the desires of our heart, and we don't even know it. And so he gave me the, the desire of my heart. But because I was 16, 17 praying that prayer, that's what I prayed for. Wow. So you get some, you don't, you know? But overall, I got what I needed and who I needed hey, from that. So I like that. That's right. Amen. So seeing seasons of singleness, should that be like season of preparation, even though there's no guarantee, or? I mean, I think again, marriage is a is like a thing. And it scares me sometimes to hear people or females in particular say, I want to be married. I want to mm -hmm. be married. I want to mm -hmm. be married. Because then to me, the husband becomes just the object of what you wanted. Right. Not I love him. Exactly. I want to serve him Correct. for the rest of my life. I want to help him. Okay, I'll marry him. So I think when marriage mm -hmm. becomes an object, that's dangerous. Period. Exactly. As a single person, period. That's so true. So seasons of singleness, I'm not saying it shouldn't be a seasons of preparation, but you should just be preparing you, just getting you will prosper as your soul mm -hmm. prospers. So seasons of singleness should be seasons of soul prospering. Yep. You just become a better you in the Lord. That's right. And when it happens, it happens. But to make marriage an object, then people just become, you know, yep. the, the, the pawns or the, you don't really love them. You just mm -hmm. need them to fulfill what you what you always wanted. Right. You know what that's I'm saying? That's so good. That's, that's a scary to me when, mm -hmm. when I just hear, yeah, I just want to be married. I want my husband. I want, mm -hmm. and you don't even know him. Right. It's like, whoa. Yeah. I know people who got plans for their whole marriage. And it's, I'm not saying anything's wrong with that, but it's like, you're just going to put somebody. A stranger. The, it's like you already wrote a movie. <laughs> Yep. Now you're trying you to, to figure out who you're going to cast. Mm. And that's good. You understand what I'm saying? The person you wise. cast is never really the person. They're just playing a part Object. in what you already see. I don't want that kind of life. Mm -mm. I want the real thing. So mm -hmm. I, I rather, I'd rather be a little bit more organic than totally planned out. That's so good. You feel me? Yep. So what would you say to somebody who wants marriage and a family, but they like, they can't get it? They okay. Get, I mean, I would say, like I said, just start acknowledging God every single day. Start a new relationship with the Father because without that, we can't really move along in any, any way. And so getting that relationship together, being consistent in that, and then, and I know it sounds churchy or maybe religious, but then he'll lead you. Yeah. Like we gotta be led. We have to be led by the yeah. spirit in order to get the godly things that we need. Yeah. And like he said, if my soul is prospering, I'm, I'm doing right, I'm eating right, I think I'm living for God and I'm, I'm doing what I need to, to do, I feel like it's gonna come just like it came for me. It'll come just Keep serving, keep loving, and yeah, and, and, and I believe like it's it, hard to prepare though. No, but for, for people who want to be really want to be married but can't get it together, it's kind of like anything we really, 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 really want. I don't think we understand the fullness of it. Got it. Money. I wanted money, and it's like whoa, notoriety. People trying to go viral. You want to be famous. Anything you really, really want like that, I don't think we understand the the the. The, what it comes with. Yeah, yeah, what it takes. So God mm -hmm. is like, okay, I know yeah. you want that, so let me prepare you. Mm -hmm. Regardless, he's, he's preparing he's preparing you. I, I, but the question is, is everybody supposed to be married? Did God create every human being to be married? Or is some people, you know, not supposed to be married? I mean, you know, it's like, how would well, you according know? According to Paul, you don't exactly. have to be married. Exactly. You don't have to be. Okay. So I, well, I wish all y'all was like me. Single. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, just single and doing the, doing, doing the, the work, work of the Lord. Lord. <laughs> so you don't have to be to be fulfilled in life. That's right. No, you mm -hmm. don't have to be. Uh, but that's why we were talking in another episode. God has other people, family and friends to, to uh, fulfill. fulfill those unmet needs mm -hmm. of intimacy and closeness with somebody so you don't feel alone. Uh, but yeah, for, for the ones who, who wants to be married, who can't get it together, I agree with you and I echo you. Seek the Lord, not just for his direction, y'all. Not just seek the Lord for his direction, but for his contentment. Like he will fill mm. you and satisfy you. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Where it's like, when it happens, it happens, That's what I'm, I'm saying. Good. I've been abound and abased, I've been hooked up and I've been dropped off. But right now, I'm, I'm good. And I think every believer should have that. I'm good. Yep. You know what I mean? Whether the mm -hmm. desire is marriage, money, success. If it's not here yet, it shouldn't be such a, you're almost depressed because yeah. you don't have it type thing, especially mm -hmm. in marriage. 
there should be a, a realm of contentment and rest we all as believers should have because he that has promised is faithful. And my last thing about that, okay, did God tell you? Okay. Did God tell you, like, exactly. hey, you're going to be married, da 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 If he told you, yeah, it's coming, man, you can rest mm -hmm. and just chill and just don't even worry. But don't even do your hair the next day. Don't do your lashes. You know it's coming. Mm -hmm. No, do all that. <laughs> Sex driven world. Sex mm. everywhere. How do you how how do you talk to somebody who's trying to like re refrain? I have to really think you about it. You gotta that. think about it. I've been married for so long. <laughs> <laughs> I've been married for so long, I have to think and about it. It is getting that. worse and worse and worse and worse as far as the exposure of it. You yeah, everywhere you look. Social media, everything. And so uh, internet, all of that stuff. So I think it's very, 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 very challenging. Our victory, of course, I want to start with, is Christ. He endured all temptations. He was tempted at all points like mm -hmm. us. And I think like everything else in Christ, like love, patience, mm -hmm. is supernatural. Mm -hmm. I think temperance is a fruit of the Spirit. Temperance is supernatural. So you cannot expect to have this self-control outside of the spirit. Yeah, it's hard. In this society or any, any, any other society. Unless we be careful what we watch and we're careful where we go because everywhere we go, we're influenced by sex. So now you just can't go everywhere, especially if that's your weakness. You can't be going to the clubs and you can't be hanging out with people who do practice sex. Yeah, you shouldn't and be. you shouldn't be doing all of these things that promotes it. Yeah. And so you should lessen your exposure to sexual things. And, that, and that's another way. That's one way to do it, as yeah. well as uh, praying and, and keeping yeah, yourself how you holy. Pure, you're saying. That's how you stay pure, as pure as possible. Yeah. And they said a man without restraints is like a city without walls, without walls, without boundaries. And how God uses restraints to give men authority. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like Adam, you can have all these trees, but just don't just touch, don't that, touch one. that That one restraint gave Adam authority over everything. So Life. men learning how to operate in temperance and how to restrain yourself. It gives you authority mm -hmm. in, in life. So God gives you a strength and a power in life when you learn how to refrain That's and true. restrain. You don't have to have everything you see. You don't have to go after everything. And again, that exposure is everything. Mm -hmm. The conversations, you're talking to your homies and that's all the, you know, she, and you're hearing stories and you're seeing things. Yep. How can you? How, how can you? It's, it's not possible. Yeah, yeah. so I, I, think, I think the resources of purity is the strength of the purity. Mm -hmm. What are you doing to reaffirm purity in your life? You got scriptures on your mirror like, not today, Satan. Oh, mm -hmm. that's not a scripture. <laughs> Says the pastor, be. right? Mm -hmm. So uh, things like that to reaffirm your pure state. That's right. If your purity is only inward, you won't remain pure long. Mm -hmm. If you have external things reinforcing the purity you, you desire to have, It'll help strengthen your purity and your temperance. That's right. Community is important too. Mm -hmm. Having a community of people, people like you, like, hey, all right, let's make a covenant. That's right. We ain't going. If I see you going too far, bro, accountability systems. That's right. We don't have accountability systems because the new word for accountability is judging. Mmm, that's like, so bro, good. Like, bro, I, th I thought you. Was, oh, now you're gonna judge. Don't right. judge. Don't judge. Like, man, that's accountability. So culture is trying to taint everything pure so that we can live in darkness and lawlessness. But man, break that thing up in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Have yourself accountability partners if your desire is to be pure. And David said, "One thing have I desired." That will I seek after. Right. So if that's really your desire, you go after it. Mm -hmm. I know what you truly desire by what you go that's after. True. You can't desire purity and then watch porn. Exactly. That's not after purity. Yeah. So I think y y your pursuit uh, exposes your, your, your desires. desires, man. So go after purity. Go after it hard. That's right. In Jesus' name. The Bible said, flee youthful lust. Yes. It's something, you can't stand lust. We, we think we can stay there and fight it and stuff, but we got to leave. We got to go. So. And the thing about sex is do not kill. That's a sin. But all sins are sins indefinitely, mm -hmm. except sex. Mm -hmm. Sex is a sin until, until you're married. And then, I, you understand what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like that's the thing that God don't want you to get rid of, rid of, rid of, rid of, rid of, rid of, rid of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to tuck it until it's in my context. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, in that's my, right. in my uh, holy matrimony. Do that's it right. my way. So that's, right. that's the funny thing about something natural. Mm -hmm. We got to sleep, so we sleep. We got to eat, so we eat. That's These right. are natural. That's right. Sex is natural. How it do is. I refrain from something that's natural? 
tapping into the supernatural. That's right. And letting God protect you. Protect you. Mm hmm Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, Shantae and I are creating an entire digital series all about love, relationships, and marriage. That's right. We want to hear from you. Please drop any questions that you have in our comments below, mm -hmm. and we'll answer as many as we can in our final video of the series. Now, listen, y'all, no questions are off limits. So don't hold back. Don't. Now, let's get back to the video. I, I would like to say, it, it, for those who are single and, and don't want to be single, do not, don't be frustrated with that. Competing and comparing are the enemies of contentment. Compete, compare, ruins contentment. The more you see the Kardashians, I love them. The more you see your know, friends and your cousins getting married and you always the bridesmaid, never the bride. The more you compare and compete is the more you kill your contentment. And God is like, yeah, am I not good enough? Am I not more than 10,000 sons, mm -hmm. somebody said in the mm -hmm. Bible? So do not compare and do not continue to compete. That's one of the two of the things that'll make you frustrated yeah. being single. Yeah. Well, she got married and she got, yeah. I was better than her. And I'm just, you're just competing and comparing and that just fans the flame of discontentment in your life when That's God right. is trying to do something in you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Be before your next season, he knows the thoughts that he has for your life. He knows the That's plans getting ready to that say. he has for our life. Your plan is to be married today. Mm -hmm. His is probably next year. That's right. So since he knows what's best, lock into him. Get that fulfillment of contentment. I'm telling y'all, that helped me because I compete and co compare a lot naturally. I lean to that. I got to I got to kill that in me because you're in the music industry. You got to be number one on the charts and stuff. Mm -hmm. So not in me I know I'm taking a long time. Go ahead. No, it's OK. Mm -hmm. That thing is a temptation to me. Com compete and compare. It I is. Content. 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 That's right. So and once I learned that and the things that I, I, I you know, I would compete and compare comes to me. It's like, oh, that's cool. I appreciate right. that. But it's not life to me. So be careful what you watch. Protect your eye gates and your ear gates. Mm -hmm. um, because what you what goes through your eyes, it, it goes through your body and it goes to your heart. And out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And out of what you see, you do. And so mm -hmm. you got to be become what you behold. You become like what you behold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's nature. Um, we be, we're habit forming creatures and whatever we see, we become. And so we just got to be careful with our eye gates and our ear gates and just protect it so that we can protect our life and our hearts and everything around us. I love so, that. Yep. Boom. Hey, everybody. I'm Todd Tribbett. And I'm Shantae Tribbett. And thank you so much for watching the Praise on TV and YouTube channel. Yes. Listen, Shantae and I have created an entire digital series for you all about love, relationship, and marriage. So join us back here next week to see Ty and I discuss marriage, intimacy with the Lord, and how the enemy tries to destroy relationships. Ooh, don't miss it, and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss an upload. God bless you.